So, for topic three, this is also another one of your topics. You suggested we list the guilty pleasures for games that we've maybe we don't want. Yeah, and, yeah, and I, I mean, it's probably tough for you to think of some, which I like. I, I listed off a few just in general, but like I think we can open it up to like maybe like segments of a game that, or like just just whenever you didn't want like somebody like maybe something you did that like some if you somebody walked in they'd be like. You need to see a therapist, or like, <laughs> some, like something like that. So we'll we'll keep, we'll keep it pretty like an open, open not, like good parameters. As soon would... as you th- you said guilty pleasure, which some people might not be considered a guilty pleasure, but I love playing the fucking Sim games, all of them. I like Sim City. <laughs> I like The Sims. And you do some very questionable things in that. <laughs> I put them in rooms with gone. fireworks and chairs and then take the door away. <laughs> yes. Yeah, take, take away the toilet, light their house on fire, and give them just a bathtub to survive in. <laughs> like Indiana Jones with a nuke. Like, when you're growing up, you think, like, you're, like, so fucked in the head that maybe nobody else has done that. But then you just find out that everyone fucking yep. did that. Roller coaster tycoon where you don't put the end of the fucking roller coaster. <laughs> we Oh, my God! <laughs> my leg! <laughs> you have any more? Uh, Viva Pinata, which is basically a oh, Sims, God, yes. a Sims for fucking puppet animals. Oh, I was there when you fucking. It's basically Farmville, uh, but 3D. Yeah, it's 3D and it has bandits. I would say it's like The Sims, basically just for farm animals. Yes. Yeah, I was there when you bought that. I was like, "What are See, you?" See, it's doing? not. <laughs> it's not something I like to play often, but I like those types of styles of games. I guess I would say those, those casual, just vent like. Winding down. Like, type I've always games. loved The Sims, Viva Pinata. I, I loved Animal Crossing, which is just like a. It's The Sims. Yeah, just a lot of people like Animal Crossing. Though. It's just I don't know what it is about. But the- I feel that has like a dark humor to it. That, that Viva Pinata and the other one don't. <laughs> I mean, right, right, because it's, it, you're basically like a slave. Viva Mash, Pinata, yeah, or like, not or Animal Crossing? Yes, you basically are a yeah. slave. I guess. Yeah, so I feel like I would like that one. That would probably be the best one out of the three. I was, but those are like the mostly the ones that would be like people would be like you fucking play those games I don't see you I don't see you as someone that would play those I mean Viva Pinata definitely Sims I guess is more acceptable I guess because we like we grew up with the Sims basically like that's yeah. when it first happened so I guess it's more acceptable but still people would be like there's so many better games to play why well, I, I, I haven't I didn't buy Sims four but I bought like Sims three and I'd always end up buying like the fucking stupid expansion packs. <laughs> Yeah, well, yep, like yep, Sims yep. Three pets, and I'd be like, I, I guess I want pets. <laughs> it's just oh my God. What Pete would have a field day with your fucking fire thing. <laughs> so, what are some of your guilty pleasures for games? Uh, I I'm gonna start with the the, uh, the good, old, good old Kingdom Hearts series, which I have a younger sister, and that's basically I was like, they were like, what did we get your your sister for Christmas? I was like, oh well, there's this game coming out that's like Disney meets. I don't know because I I have I'm haven't played many Final Fantasies. I think I knew about it. Yep. But I was like, it's basically like a a cooler version of it has Disney characters, so <laughs> just get it for. It. And then like she started to play, it and she's like, I don't like it. And I was like, I'll give it a shot. <laughs> and I fucking logged so many hours of that thing. I would basically come home from fucking like junior high or whatever, and I would just like do the Coliseum. Yep. Just straight through like fifty straight levels just so I could play the fucking Rock Titan from Hercules. <laughs> And it was fucking so sick. But then, like, if you if like I was playing the scene where like Ariel and you have to do like a song with her and like they're they're hip bumping, but they're mermaids, and like they just sing a horrible song because they couldn't get the actual song from the movie. So it's just weird, and it's just I don't know. See, I think so that's... if like anyone walked in, in during that, it'd just be like, mm, sorry. I think that's like <laughs> why I didn't play Kingdom Hearts because I was like Disney characters. Do I really? I was like. Oh, but it's so sick. No, it, well, it like, looks really like good. Like the Tarzan one where you fight the jaguar like so many times and you fight Clayton. Yeah, but you get to like a point in your teenage years where you're like, well, that's just not fucking cool. Why would I, why would I do that? And I think that's like... That. I'm, I'm, I'm going to get Kingdom Hearts 3. Oh, no, I'm those. definitely going to get that I haven't that wasted too. my time on these all these birth by sleeps and shit. But that, that was, I, I could have seen that been a game where I'd be like, I play that, but I definitely don't really want people to know I play that. Like the combat system is like on, it's pretty on point. The fucking beginnings are like kind of like Zelda. They take fucking forever to get through, and you're just like, oh, like, let me just play the game. Since <laughs> I came here to get to fucking Atlantis, I don't want to fucking hear it. <laughs> Since I grew up with like friends who didn't play video games, another guilty pleasure of mine would probably be Pokemon. None of them fucking liked Pokemon, and it was fucking, oh, like I don't know how yeah. you don't like Pokemon. Like everyone, like but you have to fi- you have to find like the wrong group of friends to fucking. Well, I grew I grew up, up with like friends that liked playing sports and shit, and they didn't want to fucking play video games. I was like, I, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> and they'd be like, "You're playing Pokemon." I'm like, "Yeah, I'm fucking playing yeah, Pokemon." Yeah. You got a fucking problem? <laughs> when you were link cabling at lunch or something, <laughs> like, 
like other people were like flirting with girls even though they were in the fourth grade it's just like <laughs> Eh, maybe I shouldn't be doing it, but I don't know. Every, every, a lot of people like it. Uh, definitely. I mean, I just I remember my friends being like, I was pissed. I, I was pissed. I got a friend a fucking. Uh, it was his birthday, so I got him a pack like over the weekend, and I gave him the pack, and he pulled up like a, a like hollow fucking Flareon. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I just thought of another. I thought of another one for me, which is the rest. Every wrestling game that I buy, <laughs> it was and true. everyone's Especially like, the, what uh, you... the All Stars one, the cartoon oh, one. <laughs> that was at least different, I guess, but. <laughs> I always end up buying that. Like, that's my one thing that I think everyone's like, you really watch that shit? And I'm like, I know it's fucking weird, but I, I don't know what it is. <laughs> I think it's just because I like grew up watching it with like my mom and my dad. And it was just like, oh yeah, you're definitely not the only person that likes. Oh yeah. But know? it's still something where people are like, you're like 25 years old. Why the fuck are you watching men in fucking tights yeah. fucking wrestle? Yeah. And I remember doing like the ladder matches or whatever <laughs> at the end. The one where you have to climb the ladder to get the thing at the yeah. top, and like it just—they always go up. It's so slow, and you're like, "Get the fuck up the ladder!" <laughs> it's, it's fun though. I mean, but I can see it depends. Again, it depends on the audience. Like, if you got those Pokemon friends over, they probably be like, "You're fucking stupid," <laughs> as they go and like inject heroin into their arms. So <laughs> okay, okay, sorry, I made that a little dark. <laughs> uh, a couple other ones I I had uh, Bayonetta. Maybe it all I depends can't... because it's kind of over sexualized and it's kind of weird and you're like a demon witch that it's beating the shit out of See, that's a game the i don't antagonists think antagonists are angels and there's a lot of ways that that could be taken wrong if the wrong person just walked in without any context <laughs> of what the game is. i think that's a game where a lot of people didn't know it exists so if they like because it came out in january yeah, it just, just kind of like came up out of nowhere and it wasn't like a big big title so people didn't really know about it so it'd be like what the fuck are you playing <laughs> <laughs> but it, dude it was it's at that at that time and like even i would say even more so now like new ips aren't happening oh, as much as i not. want them to so when bayonetta and dark sires they both came out that same january and that was a great fucking january uh um other one i had dead or alive you can either take it as <laughs> you can either take it as like the beach volleyball fucking version which i don't think i've ever tried to waste my time playing that because i was just like no i'm probably gonna get an std just fucking touching the controller <laughs> playing the game or you could just take it as like any any like fighting game that over sexualizes the girls. So like every and fighting just, game. <laughs> yeah, like um, what was it? The Ninja Guide and Sigma for Ninja Gaiden Two or whatever. Like they had the the PlayStation, the joysticks. You could or it had the uh, motion controls, so you could jiggle their boobs if you wanted to. <laughs> of course. It's just like um, <laughs> could be weird. Uh, I I texted you yesterday that part of Arkham Knight. I don't know what you were talking about when you said that. <laughs> The, the part where uh, Harley takes over the movie theater and you knock her out and you carry her to the other thing and her ass just looks fucking fantastic. Oh, yeah, I fantastic. remember that. <laughs> and, like, you can rotate the camera, too, so you can get any angle you fucking want on that thing. I mean, I love fucking Harley, and they say don't put your dick in strange, but <laughs> I think we'd all like a shot at Harley at some point. An cause, another game uh, where I didn't just... play, but I saw you play, it was, like, Lollipop Chainsaw. I, oh, yeah. I could see that yep. being and, one. And, like, the three times they made Bukaki references in that, <laughs> even I felt fucking dirty. Like, I was, I, oh, yeah. And, and there's an achievement for fucking looking up her skirt. Like, <laughs> I was like, well, that seems weird, guys. <laughs> like, I never like, played I that, but I, I remember you saying that. I was like, really? That's that's what you're playing? Uh, kind of <laughs> yeah, yep. looks like a... I mean, like, it had a cool premise. Oh, it yeah, was, like, definitely. a cartoony, like... It, and Michael Rosenbaum was, the like, decapitated head, I think. And it was just... It was kind of cool. It was just... It, they over sexualized it a little too much and the boss fights were great in that game though like the the punk rock guy that like screams like words at you and you have to dodge the words <laughs> it's, it was pretty that's cool that's a game i never really played so i wouldn't really know anything about it but it was mm -hmm. definitely just something i wouldn't i wouldn't say i wouldn't suggest it <laughs> no i probably wouldn't play it 100 percent of it but I just don't if it was free maybe i'd consider playing it on a rainy day i yeah. guess yeah if it's if it's free yeah go for it but other than that don't <sighs> Uh, and the last one I had, but I might be able to think of a few more. Uh, karaoke on Sleeping Dogs. I don't. I didn't ever play. You don't remember I never that? played Sleeping Dogs. There's an achievement where you have to you have to get like a ninety percent or better on all the karaoke songs, and he's just fucking atrocious. <laughs> like they're good songs, kind of, but they just had like he's like an Asian fucking undercover boss badass that's part of the, like the fucking yakuza over there or whatever. And like then all of a sudden he goes on one date and sings a karaoke song for her, and he's like all out of pitch and like high pitched all the time and like oh my god and like ugh, if you make a mistake it fucking 
like you know on guitar hero if you mess up it, like you can tell they make the but, sound like the <laughs> yeah the strings kind of weird yep. so it does that on top of his high pitch thing and like the songs are like the full fucking songs and you're just like he only he does it the first time to get like a girl he, to infiltrate the thing so he, he woos a girl sings karaoke for her, impresses her just to get up to the vip lounge so he can like beat the shit out of somebody mm-hmm. so whatever that's passable but then the other fucking nine songs or whatever seven songs he's by himself like just singing in a fucking bar <laughs> like horribly and like it says you got like 100 percent on the fucking song but we all know you were a loser i thought we all know you really lost. i thought of another it's like a scene i guess not a game how many times in god of war when you could have like sex with the girls at the beginning oh uh, yeah that could, that could be did one you, yeah. did you do that yeah. i've never played the god of wars but i did, did i do that it was like the first fucking no but i mean like did you overdo it i guess would be, be the word to it, it keeps giving you orbs, doesn't it? I not? guess. I I definitely. Every time. If, I don't think that good dude ever ru- fucking ran out of it. Every time he busted his nut. Right <laughs> just, if I played that when it first came out, I definitely would have done that like so many times, just being like a little teenager. Like the first time I was just like, well, in the cutscene, you, you're like, oh, cool tits. <laughs> and like, you're, you're, you're at the. For me, I was at like the beginning of high school. So, like, yep. it was the right time <laughs> to have those like thoughts and shit. So that made sense. But then, like, I don't know. Like, they put it. Right at the beginning. So in the cutscene, you're like, oh, cool tits. And then you're like, oh, my God, I can interact with it. <laughs> well, it, it's the wrong word, but them. I understand <laughs> like, what you're her, saying. Them. Yeah. And then, like, the second one, they did the same thing. But then it was, like, kind of right at the beginning. It was, They kind of hit it a little bit better in the second one. Because you have to, like, it's, like, in, like, maybe the third building that you fall into the pool or whatever. And then you have to break down a wall to find yep. them. Because they're just chilling there, <laughs> just waiting the for city's fucking being, Kratos. City's being torn apart by the Col- the uh, Colossus of Rhodes, and they're just like, eh, "This is a good time for a bath <laughs> with, with my girlfriend." Like, all right. And then the third one was just kind of like over the top. It's like, "Yeah, let's just have him fuck a god." <laughs> <laughs> it's like, uh, okay. I mean, I was... sure. <laughs> this is this is what Aphrodite was like in the first game when I when she gave me some power, but sure. I was thinking of an. I mean, it's not really. It's not like something people would think you're strange for playing, but I always buy the Madden games, even though it's it's so weird. I I like playing them for a few months. I would see more for I would see more for FIFA. I don't under, I still don't understand. The I FIFA I thing. never understood the FIFA thing either, just because that's a because I, I can guarantee you most of the people that you talk to that play FIFA they don't like soccer. And it's just like why are you playing this? Thing? Like it's not even like maybe if it's around like when the World Cup's happening or whatever. Sure. Yep. But I don't know why it's like a year long thing. I think it's a fundamentally sound game, probably, but... I can't imagine playing soccer games. It's just like you run across the fucking map, probably lose the ball. Yeah, every, everyone does the same thing. You dribble, pass, dribble, pass, and then you make a cross attempt. I could see that definitely head. being... That's basically, that's basically the whole People thing. People get, like, really into those games, too, which I know, blows my I know. mind. I'm trying to think if there's any other games where or scenes or anything like that. I thought I had another one, but I, I lost uh, it. I'm trying to... There's probably, like, a Nintendo game that I fucking... There was I, like Pigman, I guess, could kind of maybe be considered that. I mean, that's kind of a they consider that like a good game, so maybe not Pigman, but a lot of people. Uh, the the poop fight in Conkers. <laughs> that's fucking. That's probably the funniest. Why is that a singing shit? <laughs> uh, I didn't know that existed until I out. replayed it on Rare Replay, and I was just like, "What the <laughs> fuck is this?" So funny. It's so funny. The, the, there's a lot of Nintendo games that are just. Ooh. I played like Diddy Kong Racing a lot, which is just like, why am I playing that over Mario Kart? Yeah. But I I, I like Diddy Kong Racing. Because it had planes, duh. I, I guess. There's a lot of secrets and shit in Diddy Kong Racing that I like ended up finding. Oh, really? Yeah, I never saw those on the emulator. Which, when I was like, I think I was like 10 or younger than that, I was like, this is fucking sick. <laughs> like, because at that point, <laughs> yeah. I didn't look for secrets in games or anything like that. I just like fucking. You just kind of stumbled yeah. on them. Like there's in and they actually meant something other than an achievement. In the beginning of uh, the game Diddy Kong Racing, you start in like a big circular area, and if you draw, drive over one of the frogs, you get like a secret character. And I was like, this is fucking awesome! It was so cool. It's not the way you should be unlocking characters. <laughs> um, what about ooh? How about any time they have like the 3D displays of characters in the game, and you, like, it's another thing where you can rotate to see whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> Like like are the Arkham games where you like Catwoman you can oh, yeah. get anything you want. <laughs> I can... or like Jesus look at the ass on Batman. Whenever, like... And like Saints Row and stuff, if I'd ever make a female character, I'd make her with fucking huge tits just for no reason. Yeah, yeah. 
That's not, that's another good one too. Like why why is she like why do her tits weigh more than her body? <laughs> I don't know because they gave me the option. But, you ever make a you ever make a, like a three hundred and fifty pound guy and oh definitely and try to and put him at like ninety eight speed and like <laughs> perfect hands and shit and he just goes out and tears up everything. I've seen a lot of YouTube videos of this men where they'll take like Peyton Manning or Tom Brady and make him a running back and see how long it takes him to get injured <laughs> and it's the funniest <laughs> thing. So because they're so slow and they get the ball they just get fucking annihilated <laughs> and i was like i kind of want to do that as a video but it's it's obviously been done so it's fucking yeah. no point whatsoever i don't think i can think of anything else really like, off the top of my head really it's tough to think i mean there's, there's plenty of other ones we, we could probably like if we got another big enough list we could probably come yeah. back and just be like because you named that and i was like at first i was like i don't think there really is anything i have guilty pleasure or what they give you the, they give you the option to like input your character your rival in pokemon you <laughs> fart dickwad <laughs> i always named it like my friend that i hated and i knew i was gonna be <laughs> so i think i i think I'm, i think i was lame i think i just kept it as like gary or something but. it's this so there is so much like when you first threw this topic at me i was like i don't think i really have anything and then i was like it was like viva pinata and sims i was like i could definitely go further with this topic that, that scene in the first movie first pokemon movie where ash dies kind of for a second and everyone cries <laughs> and then you start crying <laughs> i haven't watched the pokemon movie in so long oh. i mean obviously i don't see why we would watch it but... i got you covered i got it on vhs <laughs> don't, don't let me pull out my vs our vcr <laughs> that i don't have I, know, I, fucking, I was like what's a v oh like i think i fucked up vhs and vcr the past couple of days i was just like oh man i don't remember the, like, the last time i watched the vhs was probably before 04 maybe <laughs> <laughs> that's probably pushing it's it just a decade yeah just no what big a... deal just it's that's definitely a topic that i could think of more and we should definitely come back to what outdated stuff that or we either that nostalgia. or even like nostalgia. even guilty pleasures for maybe like music you were saying music or maybe like movies or stuff like that i could definitely yeah. go for movies because i like when you're rock when you when you're rocking out to shania twain or taylor <laughs> swift and you're like the lyrics are i feel like a woman and like <laughs> He like the way he the way he moved was so good. Like, oh, why am I saying this? Damn you, Taylor Swift. We'll, we'll definitely do that sometime because there's so much shit I listen to. Where I'm just like, why am I listening to this? Yeah, like I would drive home from church a couple times with my dad, and he like he he was bigger than Shania Twain probably because he wanted to fuck her on the side. But like, oh man, like he would rock out to. I feel like a woman, and I'm just like, something feels wrong about the situation. <laughs> That's what my um. I don't. Like, does he know what the lyrics are? That's what my mom's husband would always do. He'd be fucking blaring that when I would go over to a house. And he'd just be listening to that. I'd be like, this is fucking weird. What are you doing? When Cotton Eye Joe comes on and you want, you know the dance. Because <laughs> you did it for, like, a warm-up exercise in gym in six I think I think we should save this because we could go okay, on okay, and on. Okay. But let us know down in the comments what is some of your guilty pleasures for games. Because everyone definitely has them. Yeah. It's, we're not gonna. No one's gonna hate yeah, on you. Yeah, exactly. Well, I just we can't control the. Comments, I just said that I played Viva Pinata, so <laughs> we we'll, we'll probably have a bunch of the, yeah. We we'll probably have a bunch of the same one. <laughs>